Hi guys, it's me Audrey and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'll be answering your questions regarding the application process on how to become a cabin crew and everything in between. So I'll be giving tips and advices as well on what you should do and what you should not do on the application process. And yep, yeah, let's start with the question. So the most asked question is my height and weight. So my height is just 5'5 and my weight is just 49 kilograms. So next question is, my height po di ba na kailangan or does height really matter? I'm 5 flat by the way. So it depends upon the airline you're applying for. So for local airlines, they have height requirement. I think the lowest is 5'2 or 5'3. It depends on what airline. And for international airline, we don't have any height requirement as long as you can reach 212 centimeters or 210 centimeters. So, next question. Do you have training bago ka nag-apply? So, um, hindi ako nag-training or I didn't enroll to any training school. Um, purely, my training was my previous work as a recruiter in Ayala Land. So, next question. Um, do you need to get trained before you apply for the airlines or do the airlines who hired you will train you? So, it's not necessarily uh, needed naman na you go for training school but it depends upon you if you want to spend money or if you have time but the airlines will surely train you after you get hired so next is paano ka naging flight attendant pero iba naman course mo so um being a flight attendant you don't have to be a tourism graduate or hospitality graduate it depends upon the recruiter if they will accept you or not because purely they're accepting you because of the attitude because of they see something in you na alam nala na pasok for your, the requirements as becoming their flight attendant for their company. So, hindi naman magdedictate yung course mo if you can be a flight attendant or not. So, I have friends who are economics graduate, who, ha, who is nursing graduate, and um, communication. So, sobrang daming flight attendant na hindi tourism and hospitality graduate. So, Huwag niyong isipin na porket hindi kayo graduate ng ganitong course, eh, hindi na kayo matatanggap. Kasi ako, natanggap naman ako and I'm a human resource graduate. So, yes. And then, anong course niyo? So, I took up human resource management in college. So, may question din dito saan ako nag-school. So, I studied in the La Salle College of St. Benil. Next one is, need ba ng clear skin para maging flight attendant? Of course not. But, um, we all know naman kasi na flight attendant dapat as, as in parang medyo perfect type ka. Pero not all flight attendants have clear skin, we get pimples, I have eye bags, I have pimple marks. So we're just normal people, we get flaws, we have our imperfections, pero we have makeup to cover up them. So, ayun, and like for me, I always take good care of my skin, I do my skincare routine, I, I really take care of my skin. So, ayun. Pero it's not necessarily needed naman na perfect yung face mo. Kasi wala namang perfect face, ba? So, next question. Maganda and sexy lang po ba ang pwede maging flight attendant? Hindi. Hindi need na maging sexy ka or fit ka or petit ka. As long as you can present yourself, you're confident enough, you can carry yourself, go go for it. Like, hindi, ang dami ding flight attendants so hindi naman super fit. Hindi sila yung payat. I mean, especially for international airlines, you can see flight attendants who are chubby. So it doesn't matter if you're fit or you're, of your if you're skinny or not. If you want to be a flight attendant, go for it, girl. Walang nag walang batas na nagsasabi ni pa maging flight attendant yung mga chubby. I mean, hindi ko gets bakit may ganong discrimination or pagiging racist. Na dapat pag flight attendant ka payat ka lang. No, it's not. It's not like that. So if you are that girl, na alam mo na you're not that skinny, you're kind of chubby, go for it. If you want to become a flight attendant, apply ka, girl. So then, next question. What course should I take? Which company should I, should I apply for? Is it fun? So, the course, it depends upon you kung ano ba talaga yung gusto mong e-master in college. So, like, for me, I didn't expect din talaga na magiging flight attendant ako. Like, nung college ko lang nalaman na gusto ko maging flight attendant. Though nung high school, sinasabi ko sa sarili ko, if magiging flight attendant man ako, if I will consider working as a flight attendant for this company lang, 
company lang. So, I'm lucky and blessed kasi I'm working for that company that I've always wanted. And, basically, yung course mo, hindi naman siya magiging basis nga if magiging flight attendant ka or not. It depends upon your personality, the way you interact, the way you present yourself to the recruiters. So, if you wanna take nursing, why not? I think it's an advantage kasi um, part din ng training namin is yung about medical issues. So, advantage sa'yo yun kasi hindi ka mahirapan mag-memorize ng gamot, mag-memorize ng kung ano yung mga symptoms, ganyan-ganyan. Gets nyo? And then, which companies should I apply for? For me kasi, if you wanna be a flight attendant, you won't um, care kung anong company applyan mo. Every job openings you will see online, you will apply for it. Kasi you want to be a flight attendant. Pero for me kasi, ang naging nang nangyayari is, I applied for different airlines as well, but I have this target airlines, which is I really wanted. So, all this time na nag-apply ako, always, ang lagi kong mindset is, gusto ko maging flight attendant nitong company to. Nitong specific company na to. Maybe kaya hindi ako natatanggap sa ibang airlines na ina ko kasi yung pinag-prepare ko talaga is this airline. So, yeah. Um, yun lang naman magiging advice ko. And every application naman, even if you get accepted or not, if you get rejections, it will help you to improve yourself so that on the next application na pupuntahan mo, you're better, you know more about the application process, you enhance your uh, weak points, you improved already, di ba? So, is it fun? Of course, it's fun. Like, for me, ito yung isa sa mga job na sobrang wow. As in, wala akong masabi. Like, at first, I was thinking na mag-regret ba ako. I have second thoughts about this job. Kasi, I'm not sure if this is really for me or not. Pero kasi, how will you know if you won't try? So, like, for me, nung nalaman ko na ganito, mas naintindihan ko yung work ng cabin crew, mas naintindihan ko yung mga tao na nasa customer service and everything. So, it really changed my mindset. It really changed me as a person. It made me more independent, more, um, tawag doon, mas nagiging, ano, ko, sensitive ako sa ibang tao. Mas na-enhance niya yung skills ko in communicating and I'm learning different cultures. I'm meeting a lot of people and I think that is something na hindi ko makukuha if I stayed working in a office based. So, you get to travel a lot. You're well compensated. It's something you can ask for more. Like, I'm always grateful and I'm thankful that I was given a chance to work for this airline for to work as a cabin crew. I mean, sobrang happy lang ako and sobrang blessed. So, next question, how was the application process? So, the application process during my time, sobrang um, haba ng pila. Sobrang haba ng pila. Actually, next question din yun. Kung mahaba yung pila na nag-apply ako, of course, a lot of Filipina girls would like, uh, would want or would aspire to become a cabin crew. So, expect long lines during the open day expect hot weather kasi mainit naman talaga sa Pilipinas and makikipagsapalaran ka talaga. Like for me, I went to Clark pa just to apply considering I'm from, I'm from Laguna. So pumunta pa ako ng Clark para mag-apply. I spent money, I spent time. Alam mo yun, a sobrang risky lang talaga niya if ma-accept ako or not. And luckily and thankfully, natanggap ako. And um, with the application process, ano siya, um, may time talaga na makakompare may sarili mo sa ibang nag apply Like, nakakakita ka na mas magaganda sa'yo, nakakakita ka na mas matatangkad, mas mamakikinis, may experience. Pero, if it's your time, it's your time. Like, you can just base kung ano magiging result just because you see this other girl na may experience siya sa aviation industry or nanggan siya sa customer service industry. So, wala talaga. As in, sobrang hindi mo ma-expect kung ano mangyayari. My advice is just do your best. Be yourself, be confident, and do research. Research a lot about the company, about some questions na pwedeng itanong sa inyo. Makaka-help talaga yun. And, yeah, the application process din pala is 3 days. Um, so, 3 days akong, ano, nandun sa Clark. Ayun, next question. 
kapag ba may anak na bawal na mag-apply, of course not, pwede ka pa rin mag-apply, pero the question is, kaya mo bang malayo dun sa anak mo, sa asawa mo? Yun naman yung question na yun eh. If you can survive that, um, being away from your kid, being away from your husband, then go for it. Kapag po ba malabo na ang mata, di na pwede maging flat attendant, of course not. Um, that's why we have naman glasses and lens, corrective lenses, like the contact lenses. That is to, um, parang i-correct yung eyes natin. So, pwede ka naman magsuot ng glasses and contact lenses. And I have friends then who did LASIK surgery just to get a clear vision. So, if may pera ka, magpa-LASIK ka. If wala, mag-glasses and mag-contact lenses ka. Hindi naman, like, wala namang masama if mag-glasses ka or mag-contact lenses ka. So, next question. Do you get less chance of getting hard if you have missing tooth or you have scar? So, with regards to missing tooth, I'm not really sure kasi there are airlines, like for local airlines, nasa requirements nila yun ang complete, complete set of teeth. So, yep, I can't answer that. Pero, mag-try ka lang. If sabihin na lang, hindi pwede, then mayroon pa namang tayong ways on how to get a complete set of um, teeth, diba? But I'm not really sure about the teeth. But with the scars, girls know, walang perfect na flight attendant. Like, all of us get scars. We all have our childhood scars. So, um, actually, I have a scar here. If nakikita nyo, ayan. I have scar there, but I'm a flight attendant. I got accepted. So, um, having scars isn't an issue. Um, magiging issue lang siya if itatago mo sa kanila. Like, for my airlines, I declared my scar. That's why walang problema dun sa scar ko to. So, approved to by the company and cleared ako dito. So, yep. Okay, matakot if you have scars. Um, normal lang magka-scar. As long as if tinanong nila kung may scar ka, sabihin mo lang na may scar ka. Being honest is better. Then, alam mo yun, itago mo, tapos bigla nila malalaman at the end of the day. Tapos, magsasayang ka lang, uasa ka lang, tapos, alam mo yun, meron ka pang um, credibility issue. Mas magkakaroon ka ng less chance na matanggap kasi nga, nagsinungaling ka. Interview pa lang, nagsinungaling ka na how much more kapag nasa company ka na, ba? So, last question, nakailang job ka before maging flight attendant? So, nakaisang job ako, I worked for six months as a recruiter in Ayala. So, it was a tough decision for me to leave the company because I was enjoying, I love the company, I love my job. But at, at the same time, I was looking for the bigger picture, what I really want to do, what I love to do, and something that I know kong gustong gusto ko talaga, especially the company I'm working for right now. So, yeah. And... Ayun lang naman. So, for the tips on the application process, uh, my tips would be go there early. Um, kasi ang dami talaga ang pipila, girl. As in, madaming gusto maging flight attendant. So, expect a long queue, a long line. As in, waiting game ka talaga. Pero, nasa sayo yun on how you will see that application process. So, for me, I just enjoyed it. I, I engaged with different girls nakikipagkwentuhan ako. So, alam mo yun, nakakamit ako ng mga tao na ang tagal na nag apply first timer, na cabin crew na din sila, pero they wanna transfer to another airline because maybe of the compensation in mas kilalang airline to. So, ayun, nakakatuwa lang din. Make friends as much as possible kasi hindi mo alam kung sino yung matatanggap at the end of the day. Malay mo yung katabi mo, matatanggap siya. So, you can get um tips and advices, exchange infos about their application process if hindi ka man matanggap or matanggap ka, ba? So, next one is um, with regards to the attire, always follow the dress code attire as in first impression, last nga, sabi nila. So, for uh, for this job, mas maganda if you're going there presentable um, with the proper attire. And, ayun. And then, next is Advice ko lang din na don't wear heels muna kasi pipila kayo na mahaba. So, meaning masakit sa paa yun pag naka-heels kayo. So, wear flat shoes. It's not um, bad naman to wear flat shoes. Then, siya mag-change ka na lang kapag nandun ka na sa loob ng mismong building or, ba Parang iwas, ano lang din, iwas pagod lang sa inyo kasi since nakatayo na kayo, tapos naka-heels pa kayo, ang hassle. And then, with the makeup, I advise you to be the simplest um, girl. Like, Alam mo yung simple pero attractive. Gets nyo yun. 
simple pero presentable. Alam, parang nakita nila na paghandaan nyo. Kasi meron nagme-makeup na sobrang parang pang debut, pang prom, ganun. So, pero depende din naman sa inyo yun. If you're comfortable with that, I have nothing against that. Pero kasi, um, alamin nyo din yung requirements ng company with regards to the physical features, the makeup requirements, para susundan nyo na lang yun. And then, with regards naman dun sa CV, I advise you to be creative as you can. Like for me, I, every application day na pupuntahan ko, I make sure that my um, resume will stand out. Like, I don't do the typical resume that everyone has. I always do something creative in everything that I do, especially with my resumes. Kasi at the end of the day, if nakita nilang creative yung resume mo, like, outstanding siya, mas una nilang titignan yun. Well, preference ko yun as a recruiter before. So, for me kasi, mas magandang tingnan yung resume kapag medyo, alam mo yun, iba sa paningin. Hindi siya yung typical na blank, all white, tapos typical na parang standard na resume na makikita mo online. I mean, do something creative with your resume. It will help you and you wouldn't know if dahil dun, mas makot nila yung attention mo or ma, alam mo yun, magbigay sila ng focus sa'yo. So, next is, ano pa ba? Um, don't compare yourself to anyone. Like, hindi mo kailangan ikumpara yung sarili mo sa naabot nila or sa nagawa nila. Everyone has their own timing, their own pace. So, don't pressure yourself because if it's really meant for you, God will give it to you at the right time, at the right place. If you get rejected, don't stop. Don't stop applying. I have seen a lot of girls who applied for 12 times, who went to different countries just to apply, and nakuha na nila yun. Hindi mo man makuha for the first time, second time, third time, pero always keep on trying. Kung may nakikita ng opening, mag-apply ka na mag-apply. Kasi kung gusto mo talaga, hindi ka, mag, hindi ka mapapagod, sumubok. So, if you want to be a flight attendant, go for it, girl. Um, apply, apply ka lang, apply even if you get rejected or not. There are times talaga na you will question yourself na bakit, ano, bakit nare-reject pa rin ako? Ano bang mali sa akin? Ano bang kulang? Ano bang kailangan kong gawin? So, girl, I got rejected four times by the local airlines and I got accepted um, for this airline and it all made sense. Once na matanggap ka dun, once na dumating yung time na natanggap ka na, marirealize mo na lahat talaga merong meaning, lahat talaga nangyari because kailangan siya mangyari. So, at the end of the day, you may not know the reason why this happened, why you got rejected or not. At the end of the day, once the time na dumating na yung time na matatanggap ka na, everything will make sense. Everything will, mapapaano ka na, ah, kaya pala nangyari to kasi kailangan siya mangyari. So, yun na naman magiging advice ko. Don't get discouraged if you get if you get rejected. Don't let rejection stop you from doing what you want and to achieve what you want. Kasi rejections are there to test you if you if you really want that job, if you really want this or not. And rejections are there to help you improve yourself and help you to enhance what you lack at the moment. Pero once you get rejected, it doesn't mean naman yun na hindi ka fit maging flight attendant. Maybe you're not yet fit, but it doesn't make you not fit to be a flight attendant. I think that's everything about this quick Q&A video. So, madami pang questions actually, pero mas nag-focus ako dun sa makailangan yung malaman regarding the application day. Kasi madami na application day na mangyayari. So, I hope this video will help you and give you knowledge about the application process and everything. So, if you do have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me or comment down below. And yeah, I hope to make another cabin crew related videos for you guys. So, that's it. Thank you so much. Bye!